That makes them burger! Yo, what's up guys? So from the last video, I basically showed you how to install Visual Studio Code in order to create a FreeJS website portfolio. Uh, I mean, here is the thing. Uh, you can't really make a FreeJS portfolio website if you don't even know JavaScript. So let's learn JavaScript. I'm just gonna make a quick uh, tutorial series just on the basic... Uh, on the basic fundamentals or basics in JavaScript. So this will be the first one, how to print something in JavaScript. This will be your very first programming tutorial. So let's get right into it. Uh, after installing Visual Studio Code, you wanna go down here to extensions, extensions, and then type in code runner, as you can see right here. Yes, and then this will pop up. So click on this one, code runner by John Hahn. And then click on install. After clicking install, just click on enable. It should be, it should just say install, but yeah, that's basically it. And then find, uh, create a folder on your desktop where you can, uh, where you can easily find and locate all your programming files. So after doing, after creating a folder on your desktop, click on open folder and then find the folder minus learn.js. And here we go. So after creating a folder, uh, after finding and locating the folder, right click and then say new file and then say learn.js. So our very first, this will be your very first time programming. Um, let's do this. <laughs> we will just, let me just check this. So what we will do here is basically everything that we type in, in uh, parentheses, we will print it out. So let's print out, oh wait, it's uh, hello, type in console.lock, and then type in parentheses, and then those, uh, these two signs here right and then type in hello world now the, f the funny thing about javascript is that it doesn't really require um semicolon but you can also use semicolon so let's test it out so the reason uh, why we installed uh, the code runner thingy is basically so you can run it right up here so if it tries to debug it or run the code it will say what hello world Let's try to type in uh, your name, the one who's watching. So I'll just type in your name. Your your name is probably, oh, so it's Ryan that's who's watching, right? Ryan um, Huawei, Huawei, Ryan Huawei. Thank you for watching this video, uh, Ryan Huawei. Let's try again. So debug the code, run it. And that's, that's your, I mean, you can, you can literally code now. You can hack NASA. So let's try again. Uh, let's try to put multiple, uh, let's try to print out multiple strings, or multiple uh, names, uh, I don't know, say an really. there we go, let's try to print out these two and let's see what happens, so it basically combines the strings, right, it combines the strings, and let's see what happens if we put a space between then it will look really nice but normally you will do something like this so you'll say name name and then space and then dot there we go how beautiful is that thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you on the next one